Welcome back to the essential oil series. Now I want to talk to you about myrrh. Um, myrrh is another essential oil which comes from the resin of the tree, resin of the plant. And um, they're all steam distilled too, sorry, I should have been saying that. But myrrh is um, pretty, pretty special. It's very subtle and uh, probably not a lot of people know that much about it, apart from the biblical story, you know, where it's frankincense, myrrh and gold. And if you've watched my frankincense video, then you know that I talk about gold being turmeric, which makes really good sense. They're all anti-inflammatory. Henceforth, you would give them to somebody that's eventually going to need them. Um, but... Myrrh is really subtle, very gentle. Myrrh is very nurturing. Myrrh is that really, it feels really smooth in your hands and silky and golden. So straight away, when before I even read anything about it, as I started to work with myrrh essential oil, it's quite thick um, in saying that, but it is very smooth, so it does have flow. But I knew it would be really good for my skin. So I would put it on at night time like a serum, use it like a facial serum, right? Really good for that. Um, frankincense, I forgot to tell people, frankincense is really good for skin spots or for any sort of issue on your skin, you know, like in Australia, we have lots of issues that people want to burn off or cut out or whatever else. You can make yourself a roller with frankincense and myrrh and turmeric and just be using that on your skin all the time. Um, anyway, I've... Sorry, I forgot about that. I meant to mention that. But myrrh is a smooth golden flow, subtle and kind. So uh, frankincense is the masculine oil. It's the father oil. Myrrh is your mother oil. It's your feminine oil. It's going to tap you into the nurturing side of life and help you to feel loved and totally connected and fully supported, right? Just like your mother is holding the baby. It's that sort of thing. Um, or Mother Earth is supporting you through your feet um, so it's very gentle it's not going to hurt you so you don't need to necessarily worry about a carrier oil but to support you with absorption because it is um, sesquiterpene it's low volatility you want uh, a carrier oil to assist with absorption and to also assist with coverage so just a little bit of carrier oil but you'll get used to it it's great for cuts and wounds on the skin, fine lines, wrinkles. You will find it in thyroid blends. So myrrh, um, I haven't really unpacked this yet, but myrrh is in a lot of thyroid blends along with lemongrass. So it works for the butterfly that's in your throat. You know, it's going to help you with that side of it. Um, really good for gum issues and really, really good for mouth ulcers as well. Now, when I first started to use myrrh, like I said, naturally, I just played with it and it's a beautiful, smooth um, oil. What I did with it too was that I looked at it and smelt it. And to me, it looked a bit like betadine. It also smelt a little bit like betadine, which is like that iodine smell, you know, slight smell like that. So I used it for anything that I used to use betadine for and for me I used to get sore throats so I would use myrrh with a little bit of water as a gargle for my throat and that would help me with sore throats I don't get them anymore um, not since I learned what that meant but um, yeah so anything that I ever used betadine for so cuts if I cut myself or put it betadine on it you know all those sort of things I then changed it and used myrrh because the idea is for me to transition from using um, manufactured uh, products to natural occurring products, right? I'm trying to think of how to say that then. Myrrh is antimicrobial antiseptic, hence betadine association, and um, astringent, sorry, and it's also an expectorant. Um, and it's really, really good for that. It also helps to calm your mind. It helps you to be calm, to be centered, to be loved, to be connected. And on the metaphysical, I've sort of done both at the same time, but on the metaphysical side of things, like I said, it's going to help you to feel safe, to feel nurtured, to feel grounded, to feel loved, to feel connected. It moves you into oneness. And if you use it with frankincense, it's really going to nail that oneness for you. So if you're someone that's searching for that, start to use essential oils. Douglas fir is another one that's really, really good for um feminine side of things to really help you to heal that aspect of emotional trauma and to really work through that side um, the mother diffuser blend there's a mother's love diffuser blend 
it's two drops of myrrh, four drops of orange, one drop of frankincense and two drops of lavender. If you put that in diffuser, it smells really nice, very subtle, very calming. Uh, there's also a blend that's orange sherbet and it's got myrrh in it as well, it's just a drop of myrrh with a few drops of tangerine and an orange and a couple of other oils and I can share that with you if you really want it. Um, but yeah, so myrrh is fantastic. It, it is very understated. Um, I guess it's a bit like a queen, you know. She's, she's quite understated, uh, but she's ever so important in terms of what happens in the kingdom, in terms of what happens in the world. Myrrh is there to look after you, to hold you and to nourish you. Um, so, yeah, really important. Make sure you've got it in your box. Make sure you add it to your collection. Make sure you learn about it and use it and really embrace it and um, just feel the softness. And even if you just get it and use it for your skin, it's just amazing what it does for your skin. So enjoy that and I'll see you in the next video.